around the campground here again. Um, I heard a rumor that guys are setting up game cams in here. Trying to trick uh, the Sasquatch into uh, making an appearance. Uh, good luck with that. But in any event, uh, I'm out here looking for them. Of course, if I see them, I'll, uh, I'll tear them down. Smash them, whatever, because uh, once again, not allowed to uh, have game cams on a campground, so it's illegal for one thing. The other thing is, it's disrespectful to uh, whoever might happen to live here. So I'll be taking them down. Just so you know. Yeah. Anyway, this is really interesting. Um, you know, this is the kind of stuff that you look for around these structures, you know, for collaborative evidence. And I see a few things here. Here we go. The next there. Place there. And over here. Kind of a neat glove. It almost looks like part of a house or a tent left, but uh, with one wall missing. And then the Friendship Welcome Axe. Hmm. Interesting one. Anyway. So I'll be looking around and... Uh, if the guys who put, put them up are looking... Uh, I hope you got deep pockets because uh, if I don't find them, then I'll get uh, one of those camera detector things and uh, they'll be coming out of here. So, have at it. Put them up as much as you want, but uh, they won't be lasting long. And besides, if you don't have a connection with Sasquatch, they're never going to reveal themselves to you, so you're wasting your time. But, uh, you know. That's your thing. So have at it.
Oh, okay. Nothing much, but uh, yeah. Real basic one. I uh, still haven't got my uh, prescription glasses replaced yet. Oh yeah, another one of these stumps. Coming up over here. Oh yeah. Huh. I'm seeing a lot of stuff like this. These, um... Trees uprooted, They're just placed in, in weird places. Oh, check this one out. A lot of work on that roof. Yeah, that's all placed there. A lot of work in there. Yeah, typical, typical roof. This one's got a lot of work done to it though. A lot of moss pile on there, a lot of sticks. Um, yeah, haven't found any cameras yet. But uh, like I said, if I don't find them, I'll just get that detector and I'll find them. Not gonna, we're not going to take that kind of disrespect. Uh, I don't respect people like that who come and infringe on people's privacy and, um, you know, for dubious intentions at best. So, you want to play that game? Well, I got lots of time in my hands. And actually the reason I'm making this video and saying this is because I'm hoping that uh, the guys that did do this listen to this because uh, I'm not afraid of you for one thing. And the other thing is I want you to know that uh, as long as you have deep pockets you can continue to do this because these cams are coming down. They're coming down. It's just the way it is. So enjoy yourself. Have fun. Play safe. Another one. It looks uh, like it's been here a while. Looks like it's probably partially falling apart. But um, definitely their work. It's just gorgeous back in here. I guess I'm going to have to go get my prescription glasses because uh, it's kind of a hassle putting these readers on and off and I can't see anything with distance uh, from them. Actually I can kind of see okay without them for distance but it's kind of that intermediate area. A little fuzzy so I guess I'll have to go and replace them. Look at the mossy 
carpeted uh, forest floor here. This is one thing really, really unique to this area. Or I guess there's other areas like this, but it's kind of a special place for that. Uh, not many places that got the beautiful, loving energy that this place has. It's just palatable as soon as you come in here. Sometimes stronger than others. It depends on if they're they're greeting you or whatever, but uh, always has a beautiful, beautiful feeling. So, still looking for cameras. Haven't found any yet. Continue on. Okay, well this is something that you don't see very often. Look at the rain coming down over there. And yet, I'm 20 yards away from my truck. Where I am, nice and sunny. Hey, here I am back in the other campground. I've not found a single game cam so far. I don't know if that's good or if that's bad. But um, anyway, yeah, I've shown this one before. A lot of work went into that. A lot of work. I'll just walk around it. But I saw something very interesting. And like I said, you know, collaborative evidence. So, I'll just walk around. Somebody made a comment the last time I posted this that uh, basically called <laughs> basically called me a moron because there were sawed pieces in this. Well, you're entitled to your opinion, but uh, uh, Sasquatch will utilize anything that's available to them. Uh, there's a lot of cut pieces around here. I mean, the rangers and whatever um, sometimes cut uh, pieces down that look like they're going to fall over or whatever. Hazard. Stuff like that. So, uh, you know, saw cut pieces don't mean anything. Don't mean a darn thing. So anyway, yeah, this is very, very interesting. But, um, what I wanted to show you was actually over here. And yeah. This is kind of neat. Whoop. Watch my step here. See this? Another one just stuck on the ground there. Always in a good about a foot, I guess. Now there may have been a hole in there to begin with, but re regardless, um, that's a sign that they've been around. And you always, usually always, find something like this or some kind of collaborative evidence around these structures here. So that's something worth noting. That is really cool. Love the roof on it. A lot of work that went into that. A lot of work. Anyway, continue on and see what else I can find today. Here's another one. I'm not sure if this is new or not. Let's have a look at it from the front. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I actually think it is. I don't think I've seen this one. New to me, anyway. Uh, 
These are really, really big pieces. Hmm. Oh yeah, and they got the roof on top as well. Interesting. Look at that piece stuck in there, kind of blocking that entrance a little bit. Yeah, typical roof. Once again, a lot of cut pieces, not a concern. They just use whatever, whatever's available. about that whatsoever. I mean they even use string sometimes. Uh, you know as I've said and they've proven that to me um, or showed me through thought placement and then gave me the answer right away. Uh, like I said one time um, I saw a, a structure that has some string on it and you know when you see string you think eh, kids eh, I don't know you know you, you think about it. But then as soon as that thought came to my head, I was with my friend Randy Barnes, and as soon as that thought came to my head, he pointed to something right below him. Generally, it happens that it's right below me, but, but uh, you know, basically the same thing. Pointed to something right below him, and it was a T-glyph, a perfectly centered T-glyph. Uh, the vertical piece, was, actually no, the horizontal piece was the typical peel stick. But the vertical piece that was directly centered in the middle of that stick, directly centered, was the same string that I was just questioning in the structure that I saw. Exactly the same string. And so that was my answer. You know, like, yeah, of course we use string dummy. I mean, they, they hit you over the head with, with answers like that. And, and quite often you'll notice that a lot of that string, whatever they use, uh, you know, they'll take whatever they find. But a lot of it is really, really old. Like uh, it's been hidden away in a little catch or something that they have somewhere or, or whatever. It's a possibility. But a lot of it uh, does not look new by any means. So... Yeah, like I said, they will use whatever is available, whatever is handy. The Sasquatch people are here connecting with people at this time to introduce us to our true nature as universal beings, as energy beings, uh, to let us know that we are part of the All One and the Collective. Um, that's why they are connecting with certain people and other people they don't connect with or have no interest in. Uh, people who are actively seeking them either, even because their, their hearts or their journey is not at that stage where they are ready to be introduced to who they truly are. Uh, you know, Sasquatch are all over North America. So basically, Anywhere where there's woods, there's an, a possibility that the Sasquatch are there. Um, and for people who have a connection to them, they realize that. Uh, but people who don't will never realize that, and they actually won't even really get anything off of them. The Sasquatch are not interested in divulging anything about them to these people. Um, if that sounds critical, well... Sorry, I, I don't mean to judge. It's uh, it's just the facts. Um, I mean, they can.
place thoughts on our head, they can read our thoughts. They know what you're going to do before you do. They can read our hearts, our intentions. So if you don't respect them and approach them from a position of love, respect, and, um, you know, you're at that stage where they are ready to teach you or introduce you to who you truly are, then you're not really going to get anything. of any substance off of them. Uh, you may come across the odd track, uh, you know, stuff like that, but you won't really ever find out who they really are and what they're all about, or for that matter, who you really are and what you're really about. Uh, now that's kind of a broad brushstroke statement because there are other entities, spiritual guys, teachers, angels, that kind of stuff that can introduce you to that, but just in reference, or in, in particular, if we're referring to the Sasquatch people, um, they're not interested in just anybody. They're interested in somebody who is ready to learn, somebody who is ready to grow spiritually. And um, so, you know, I guess I do get pissed off with game cams and stuff like that. I guess there's really no point to it other than the fact that it just kind of, It's just a negative kind of vibrational thing. Um, because these people are not approaching the Sasquatch with respect, with love. And so they're going to get what they put out, which is uh, not much. <laughs> Jeez, that sounds terrible. But um, basically, if you want a relationship with Sasquatch, You've got to do it respectfully. You've got to do it with your heart. And you've got to say, I would like to uh, meet you. I would like to introduce myself to you. Don't have any agenda other than the wonder of nature and the wonder of the world around us and, and the connect, uh, connective nature of everything. Um, you've got to do it with a pure intent because they know your intent. So. Yeah, like I said, if I see game cams or whatever that are set up to try to trick them or whatever, which is ridiculous, because you can't trick them, uh, yeah, I will remove them. But um, basically these people are not going to get anything anyway because the Sasquatch are way, way more involved than that. They're, that's why, you know, people seem surprised when they say, oh, I put game cams up all over the place and all of a sudden the activity stopped. Well, if you've been in the Sasquatch field as a researcher or whatever for 30 years or 40 years, like some of these people, and I never ever name names, that's not respectful. And you can't figure out uh, what's happening when you put game cams up and uh, all the activity suddenly stops, then what are, you, what are you wasting your time for? I mean, that's one of the most obvious, basic, things that, you know, people discover. Um, you're not going to trick them. You're not going to catch them on a game cam unless it's extremely lucky or unless they want to do it for a joke or for whatever their reasons are. But basically, you're not going to ever have a real connection with Sasquatch. And I know that you're, that's probably not what these people are after. They're after they want to prove that they exist. Fame, ego financial gain um, or even you know I mean or, or it could even just be a, a basic interest which is all fine and well but like I said the heart is where the connection is and I can't stress that strongly enough um, so if I sound like I'm judging I'm sorry uh, I'm not I'm just um, talking from what I know. So it's something to think about. What's your interest in Sasquatch? What's your end game? What's your, what's your goal? And depending on what your, your goal is and what your intentions are, will have a direct correlation to what they show you. So 
That's my take and I'll stick with it. So I would say that for anybody or an investigator who thinks that um, the Sasquatch people are just a North American ape or a McKellar gorilla running around in the woods, um, you're going to stay in that place. Because like I said, they're not going to show you anything. If you don't respect them for who they are, if you can't see them as a spiritual, beautiful, loving beings and teachers that they are, they won't reveal themselves to you. Um, you know, once again, no disrespect, but I've met a lot of the bigger well-known names in the Sasquatch field. And the guys that are in the ape camp or in the monkey camp or whatever camp they're at, but do not accept the woo and the true nature of the Sasquatch because the real learning starts with the woo because they are a supernatural interdimensional being. Um, and they're capable of all these things. They are capable of cloaking. They are capable of um, placing thoughts in your head, mind speak. They're capable of appearing out of thin air right before your eyes. They're capable of all those things. They're so much more highly advanced than we are. That is not even funny. And they, they know the true nature of connection and of the universe. So, if you're going to look at them as gorillas, uh, monkeys, Gigantopithecus, something of that nature, basically they're not going to be interested in showing you any more than that stay in that place. Um, all you have to do is go and look at somebody in that camp or that thought space. Go and look at them talking at a convention 10, 20 years ago and then come and see them today and they're in exactly the same place. If that's disrespectful, I'm sorry because uh, I would love everybody to feel the true nature of the Sasquatch because when you have felt that universal love, that connection to everything, you're, you're changed. You just can't be the same. You grow. That's your, your journey is really underway. And that's what it's all about. So I really don't want to sound disrespectful, but connect with the Sasquatch with your heart. And understand that they are a people, a people who are worthy of respect. And the loving, most loving, most amazing people that I have ever known and ever met. And I'm very grateful for the relationship I have with them. I'm not special. A lot of these people who connect with them are special. But they just, they just, um, they're in that space where they can be taught and where they are open to listening. That's where you have to be.
Chala.